Hello beautiful, welcome back to Next Beautiful Life. Today we're going to have a life chat and if you're new to my channel we normally do at least one beauty video a week and then the rest um, we can do whatever we want. Um, this week we're going to start off with our life chat and we're going to talk about ways to be more organized in your day to day life. And so uh, let's get started. We're going to talk about the six most important things list. And if you haven't heard about this before, I'll tell you the story. In the early 1900s, a man by the name of Ivy Lee showed up at the doorstep of Charles Schwab at the Bethlehem Steel Company and said, I can make your executives way more profitable. And um, if you let me talk to them and help them show them this model that I have, then in six weeks or so, you can pay me what you feel is um, deserving based on their progress. And so six weeks later after Ivy Lee had shared these things with the Schwab executives, Charles Schwab sent him a check for $25,000. And that would be like over $500,000 in today's um, standards. So let me tell you about these six most important things list. What that is, is you basically do exactly that. You make a list of the six most important things that you need to do that day in order of importance. The best thing that you can do is put as the number one thing in your list the thing you don't want to do the most. And um, that makes everything so much easier once you're done with that one. It's like you've already you know, ate the elephant and you've kissed the frog and it's time to just move on with your life. And everything else seems a lot smaller once you've got that big thing done. And so um, as you go through your day, 10 things might seem a lot. Three things and then a lot of times we're like, we checked off those three things and we think we're done for the day. No, let's be a little bit more productive. So the six most important things is what you want to put on this list. Now, what goes on the list? That's a cool question. All right, so let me tell you a little something that I like to call brain vomit. And what that is is where you just take everything that's in your head, everything that you've got to do, everywhere that you've got to be, anything you've got to buy, anything you've got to go get, and you write it down. You just let your brain explode on the page. And then you can, on a daily or weekly basis, take the things from that brain vomit list and from that you glean your six most important things. And that's what I do. So let me show you one of the best tools that you can have in working with your six most important things and any type of um, organization or productivity that you want to do. And that would be a spiral notebook. So you can use something like this. Um, these are usually 15 to 17 cents a piece at Target. Um, also, you can get nice cute ones like this that are smaller. I like this size because like, you can throw them in your purse. You can also use the hard journals. And I recommend if you do that, you do get one with like a ringed binder. I've tried using the ones that are like books and it's just a little bit harder sometimes when you're really in there and you can, I like to flip the page around. But you know what? Whatever works for you. And the cool thing about also using those journals is because they are hard. So if you don't have a desk, you can write. Anywho, so what you do is once a week or once a month or whatever, you just start writing a list. Can you see that? Um, wow, that gets dark. Woo. <laughs> so you just start writing a list. So you can see I have had some massive brain vomit. And this is a cool one because it's, it is tabbed. So I can do different sections. So like that's my brain vomit section. That's all brain vomit. And so I can look on my list. And the other thing that I have is a calendar like this. And you can use your phone or whatever. You could do your six most important list on your phone, whatever. You can do the little messages, memos, whatever works best for you. But this is just kind of some ideas for you to work with. So I have a calendar that has the whole month at one time. Whoa, that is dark. Sorry about the darkness. Um, that has the whole month at one time. And then, um, so that way I can see what things I actually have to go to, be at, blah, blah, blah. And then the weeks look like this. Let me see if I can step out of the light here. You can see that where it just has, it's open like that. Some people like the ones with the, the times and things like that on them. 
no, that's not how my brain works. I like something like this. And so I glean from my most important like brain vomit <laughs> and then also um, the things that you need to do throughout the day and that is where my six most important things go and so that's what goes on these pages is my six most important things and let me show you so they all start out nice and clean and pretty and all that and then they wind up looking you know like this um, by the time it's over with. I hope no phone numbers or anything on here. Good. So um, that is just a quick tip for you and how to be more productive every day and also how to not forget things. Because even the slightest little thought or idea, anything that I have for my blogs, for YouTube, for my life in general, um, any of the things that I do, clients, uh, stuff like that, then I write it down. That way I don't forget it. And that includes like taking the dog to the vet or, you know, renewing something. I don't know. Um, and, you know, if you're like me, keep something by the bed at night. A lot of times I'll send myself a text to open in the morning because you know how your brain works. You go to lay down to go to sleep and all of a sudden everything that you ever needed to do in your life is in your head um, so go ahead and utilize those times and don't let them slip by and yeah that is all I have for you today if you have any questions don't um, hesitate to ask check out my blog natashamedina.com there are two new tabs on there there is my fashion and style blog which is blowing up amazing like I can't believe the amount of followers that I have already and also the beauty blog and if you'd like to know how I got this makeup look today you will find it on the beauty blog a complete step-by-step -step tutorial and um, if you watch me on or follow me on Instagram or um, oh, what's the other thing oh on my Nat's Beautiful Life Tumblr then you see my makeup looks um, on you know a fairly frequent basis the beauty blog is going to tell you how I get them so go ahead and be a part of that if there's anything you'd like me to review or try or anything like that let me know um, comments below or on those blogs and I will be happy to do that for you thank you so much for coming by today I really appreciate it don't forget to click like here on Facebook follow my blogs and um, what else can you do subscribe yeah that would be great. So that's all. Have a great day, gorgeous.